Welcome to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. A family from Gesima in Yamira County is mourning their son who died in an accident as he traveled home from Miranda High School after he was sent home for fees. The student was among five passengers killed in a grisly accident at Ambakuko on the Kisike Roka Road on Saturday night. Protest Mugaka and the other four passengers died when their 14 seater Matatu collided head on with a trailer at Amabuko a few meters from Kiroka Town in Kisi County. The accident occurred when the driver of the Matatu tried to avoid hitting a motorcyclist. Parents of the 17 year old boy said the school had not told them they were sending their son home for fees and they now want the Ministry of Education to take up the matter. In February this year, Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Mashogu said no learner should be sent home for lack of school fees. Protest was easily identified because he was in school uniform. Within no time, dozens of phone calls went to his parents' phones. His parents, who work in Nyantsiongo Center as a Joakali artisan, are well known in the region and it was easy for people to reach out to them. Mr. Julius Mogaka said he was shocked when an unknown caller asked him to rush to Amabuko and check whether it was his son who had been in an accident. Kumuliza, ni nini mbaya kijana yangu? Kijana kaniambia, dadi, tulifuguza school vizira ya iribaki. Nika muliza, uko wapi, si upe mwalimu simu tuange na yeye. Kaniambia, abana, tulitoka huko mapema, tulifukuswa na walimu kutoka kwa geti, vile tulifukuswa, wakambia masoja wafunge. Naka muliza, mbona leo mwalimu haku piga simu, aniambia na kufukusa ni tume fair, ama ni tume hiyo balance ya nye mepaki. Naka niambia, hata mi nsi chui wali tufukusa tu, wakatuambia tuende, tulete school fees. Mr. Mugaka shared, it was around 7 p.m. The caller then told me to go to Gucha sub-county hospital where the accident survivors had been taken. When I got to Gucha, I found my son's body abandoned near the mortuary gate. I became confused and started wailing. He said police officers put him in their vehicle as others kept watch because they were uncomfortable with how he was behaving. Putting out, more of my relatives came and we went back to the mortuary to verify if it was indeed my son. As we headed home after learning that there was nothing we could do, my son class teacher texted me asking whether the boy had arrived home. Nikapata mtoto wangu ako kwa mlango ya kuingia moja ndani na kitanda. Maaskari wa Dorovi kwa kwa hapo kwa mesimamisa gari ya hapo. Kuangalia mtoto wangu nikasikia kama nimeru kwa na akini. Maaskari wakakimbia raka wakanishika wakanito hapo wakanifungia kwa gari yao. Wakasema huyu ni kama gari itamukanyaka mweka hapo na mchunge. Mchunge huyu jamaa stoke. Mr. Mugaka also shared the text message that he got from his son's class teacher, which read, Good evening, has protest come home? The message was sent at 10 or 7 p.m. And as you can see, he responded, My son, protest is dead. <laughs> Si wange niambia ni ongeza elfu moja ni malisa hiyo school visa. Naona sure kama marana ni sure kubwa. Padre ya kutuma mtoto nyumbani siku ya weekend. Mpange faa kwa chulizi wa zazi kwa mba watoto to wafukuza siku furani. Mr. Mugaka shared that after he texted the teacher that his son was dead, the teacher called back and that is when he decided to ask him how he sent his son home without informing him and that he was now dead. That is when the teacher hung up. Protest was his firstborn and he had hoped that he would finish his secondary school, pursue higher education and improve his life and those of his siblings. Sharing, he was only a few months away from being a candidate. I had so much hope in him. Him. He was a bright child. Protest had just returned to school after burying his grandfather. He shared, you see that grave is still fresh. Because of my father's burial and generally difficulties in getting money, I had difficulties raising school fees. He returned to school minus fees, but after two days, I sent 30,000 Kenya shillings to the school. I had a balance of 7,000 Kenya shillings from the previous term, and I had endeavored to reduce it by paying gradually. Mr. Mogaka noted that he thought his son would be safe in school now that he had lessened the school fees burden. Putting out, I thought my son was in school as usual, but on Saturday, 
he called me telling me he had been chased from school also raised concerns putting out i'm wondering why they sent children home on a weekend i'm wondering why they did not check whether the students had fared to travel home they just chased him he also put out his son had borrowed a phone from a trader and called him on saturday at 2 p.m to tell him he had been sent home he informed me that my son walked from school to bondo and later boarded a matatu to kisumu with the little money he had while in kisumu he called using another trader's number and asked me to send him 500 shillings to enable him to reach kc town i sent him and that was the last time we talked protest mother was beside herself with grief and could not speak protest aunt miss dina kemuma shared even his fair home was a problem imagine a whole 1500 was used for his transport from school why were they also sending students home on a week she added that her nephew would not have died had there been communication between the parents and the school she said the family is keen to follow up on what they see as neglect of their son by the school so that no more lives are lost in the future one of the teachers from maranda high school called mr mugaka to ask about burial plans he also condoled with the bereaved father and agreed that the school should have told him it was sending the boy home for fees the teacher said to mr mugaka the principal asked me to call you and inquire whether you have set aside the burial date so that we can see how to help the teacher also inquired whether a post-mortem had been done well that is a truly truly tragic story as you expect or rather know that your child is in school only to be informed that your child has passed away after they were sent home for school fees truly truly tragic incident here at AFAX we want to send our deepest condolences to Mr. Mugaka and his family we're up to date thanks so much for watching subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell so you're notified once you have any new uploads I'll see you on the next one bye bye